Happy Sunday, everyone. I hope you're all doing well by God's grace. So it's a Sunday and yes, we are doing a very simple and quick recipe. And today we are making kaklo. Okay. Um, sometimes we call it kakro. I think in the trees, right? I hope you enjoy this video. So please don't forget to like and share. And if you're new here, you're welcome. You can also subscribe if um, you love what is going on here or you like what you see. So here are my spices for the kaklo, okay? So I have some onions, ginger, some chilies, I have black pepper, salt, and then I have some cloves. That is all we are going to be needing, okay? So I've blended it and this is how it looks like, right? So these are my plantains, right? I'm going to peel them and we're going to grind them, okay? So we are grinding them in our ayoa or apotoyoa, however you call it, okay? Or earthen well bowl, right? Okay, so we are going to grind it until it is nice and um i wouldn't say smooth but we just you know um i'm not i'm not going for a very smooth consistency so now it's like a honey hole here and there kind of kind of consistency so we are just mashing it okay mash everything together and then i'll add um the spices and then some flour okay so i'm going to be putting the measurements down in the description box for you okay so i'm going to turn this into a bowl um so that when i add the flour the flour don't stick you know in those um ridges of the apotoyoa okay you know those lines the small spaces the flour can stick in and i don't like that okay so yeah i'm adding my spice so the spice you can just adjust it to your own taste okay so i like my kaklo spicy so kaklo are like um plantain and fritters if i can call them that right or yes that is the best way and then here i'm adding my flour okay so um, i tend to like mine very hot so if you don't like it hot you reduce the chilies or you don't add a lot of spices um you know the blended spices in it okay but media i always like to go all out so i'm giving it a stay and at some point i'll taste it and then if I'm, I'm, i still need some more spice i'll add it as i am doing right now okay so you always have to taste your food to make sure that you adjust the taste to your own liking or if you serve other people to adjust the taste to their taste or to like sort of a general taste so that everybody can enjoy it okay so yeah my kaklo is ready i am going for a very soft kaklo so i didn't add a lot of flour to it okay or any other binder okay so um i want you to pay attention to here so you see the way i'm dropping my kaklo in i was dropping it in a way, way that makes it flatter when i'm frying so it, be, it became like totally that i'm frying okay so i i noticed and i realized that very quickly so what i was doing then the next batch as i was dropping it i didn't drop in the same way so this time I, my hand went like upright direction so sort of like the 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 kaklo or the butter is dropping into the oil straight from the top okay so I, I, that's the best way i can explain it to you but you see what i mean so you see when i'm dropping i'm dropping it i'm the, the spoon is straight into the oil it's not like lateral okay it's like straight so in that way um it drops and it turns round okay because this butter is really soft it's um hasn't got a lot of um, flour in it to bind it so you have to drop it away. otherwise you get a very flat kaklo which looks like totally that they fried okay if that's what you're going for you can do it that way but then i wanted mine to look like kaklo so yes i was going for very soft kaklo so you can imagine this was really good so the flour was just little just enough to bind it so yeah very simple recipe i thought to share it with you this sunday okay so i hope you enjoyed it i hope you give it a try it's so delicious you can make it yourself you don't need to throw away your over ripened plantain you can make this beautiful dish okay so thank you and i will see you in the next one bye